I was actually going to apply to EYP last year and I had signed up and then was too overwhelmed with work. I decided to drop out. But then the idea of doing this kind of pitch competition was in my brain for about a year before I worked up the courage to apply again. This time I wasn't allowed to drop out because you guys made us commit from day one, so that was good. Ever since I was a little girl, I've been actually really interested in public speaking. And growing up in Puerto Rico, I had the wonderful opportunity to participate in public speaking competitions. When I saw the Kari Pitch competition, I thought it was the perfect opportunity for me to transfer those skills to English and to gain more experience in public speaking and especially communicating my research to the public. I've recently gotten really interested in science communication and I'm really interested in communicating my science to not only the public in general, but specifically the Hispanic and Latinx communities and communicating my science to them because science is for everyone. And so I, I saw the Empower Your Pitch contest and I thought it was a great way to gain more experience and participate and be able to communicate my research. One year ago, essentially last week, was the first case of MPOX or monkeypox in the United States in this global outbreak that we've seen. And since then, I've really hit the ground running to try and understand why so many people are getting MPOX and how we can prevent the outbreak from happening further. And through that, I've been researching a lot of different things. And so a couple of months ago, when I heard about Empower Your Pitch, I thought it would be a really amazing opportunity to disseminate some of my research findings and talk about why this is still important. As a veterinarian, I understand that communication with the owners of our animal patients is absolutely critical to ensuring that they receive the best care. And this is actually something that emphasis is put on because we actually receive communication training and then we hone those skills through practice by continuing to see animal patients. Interestingly, when I started my PhD, it was quite different. There's actually very few opportunities for science communication training and there's much less of an emphasis put on communication to our research audiences than there was as a clinician in communicating with our patients and their owners as well. And so I was really interested in joining the Empower Your Pitch competition because it gave us an opportunity to be trained in communication and also practice and continue to hone that skill. And I thought if I could communicate how excited I am about my research and inspire someone else to be just as excited, that would be the coolest thing ever.